If orthopedic surgery is in your future, Terrebonne General Medical Center can meet those needs with new, less invasive surgery techniques, updated operating suites, cutting edge technology, and a new patient education program designed to make the patient an active and involved part of the care team. Joining us tonight is orthopedic surgeon at TGMC, Dr. LaSalle. All right, uh, welcome to the program. And of course, we want to welcome Dr. Michael LaSalle with the Homo Orthopedic Group and an orthopedic surgeon at Terrebonne General Medical Center. And uh, thank you very much. Well, thanks for having us. Okay, um, good. Uh, what, what we're going to do, I think, is we'd like to talk about uh, orthopedics and maybe, uh, you know, what might be new in orthopedics at Terrebonne General Medical Center. Right, yeah, we, we're pretty excited to uh, introduce our new modern ultra clean operating suites that uh, we started operating in several months ago. However, uh, newly re redesigned. Uh, in conjunction with that, we have a orthopedic program with emphasis on joint replacement, also with um, uh, inpatient care suite, uh, okay. dedicated operating uh, rooms. Uh, or post-operative rooms for the uh, for the patients. Okay, and I think did we have some folks? Yeah, here we go. We have a shot, and maybe you can tell us what we're looking at there. That's a picture of the new operating room, one of them anyway. Okay. Uh, you can see we have uh, modern video equipment. Uh, there's also more things. I'll get in more detail about uh, the to click, uh, keep it an ultra clean environment. This is a sterile ultra clean environment. That's, uh, that's very new to us right now. All right, and who are those uh, pretty faces we're looking at? That's myself, Dr. <laughs> Hiddow, Dr. Kanoa, Dr. Casey, Dr. Snack, and Dr. Beck McAllister. All right, very yeah. good. Uh, uh, now, let me ask you, uh, in terms of uh, orthopedics, uh, what can an orthopedic patient, I guess, to expect that they can encounter, you know, if they're gonna undergo uh, joint replacement surgery? Right, we have, uh, after we have somebody scheduled, we will uh, arrange a preoperative consultation at the hospital. Uh, that includes uh, a, a discussions with the anesthesiologist, uh, what type of anesthesia, uh, the surgery itself, postoperative care, and also uh, instructions and what you can expect for uh, outpatient care afterwards. All right, good. And that's some of the things, of course, as we mentioned at uh, Terrebonne General Medical Center. And I guess with uh, regards to Terrebonne Medical, uh, General Medical Center's uh, pre-operational education program, uh, can you give us a little bit uh, explanation on that? Right, this is uh, structured for orthopedics, for elective joint replacements mainly. You can see that uh, we have several nurses, uh, some involved with the preoperative care, uh, in surgery as well as post-operative physical therapists uh, will explain the types of procedures which you can expect mostly post-operatively because that's when you're going to get the most of your uh, your pain and issues of rehabilitation which is m very important to start immediately to, to get uh, to get going okay yeah and and why, why is that and, and well maybe we might even get to that a little later on down yeah. but that's that's a good point uh, but once a patient is, is admitted, uh, you know, on their particular surgery day, uh, what, what can the patient undergoing the replacement, what can they expect, I guess, with regards to their hospital stay? You will be instructed on approximate time of arrival that you should uh, arrive at the hospital to get prepared for the uh, surgery, the day of surgery. Uh, Postoperatively, usually an hour to two hours in the recovery room, and then assigned a room on the orthopedic suite. Uh, hospital stays usually three days, sometimes four, uh, possibly longer if if needed. There's uh, skilled nursing care that's available, as well as uh, inpatient rehabilitation at the uh, TGMC if needed. Uh, pain management is a uh, is an issue. The anesthesia department will discuss different options, whether it be a general anesthesia, regional blocks, or indwelling catheters that can stay in to, to help with postoperative pain, to help, uh, help speed up the recovery period. Okay, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, what, what about on uh, discharge? I mean, what, uh, what can people uh, expect, you know, after discharge from the hospital? After discharge, uh, in the hospital, case manager will work on uh, arranging home health usually, uh, one of the local home health units uh, with physical therapy, nursing care, uh, any equipment you may need, a walker, bedside commode, or um, 
uh, or a uh, walking cane, also possibly a, um, some type of bed that may be necessary. Okay, what, uh, and, and after surgery in terms of this, why, why is this after surgical care so important, I guess, to the outcome or, or you know, the eventual results that the patient may have? I think uh, it's the more a patient is prepared and knows what to expect, the better off the uh, entire process is, uh, especially with the family members ex uh, knowing what to expect when he or she takes a loved one home there may be a little bit more burden, burdens than uh, you normally have on a normal day. So okay. those, are, those are good things to learn about. And one more question before we get to the break. Uh, is there a designated unit that the orthopedic patients are kind of assigned to after uh, the surgery that they have? Yes, there is. Uh, we, ha we have dedicated an entire wing to the, to the hospital, which is separated from any other uh, infections uh, or patients that may have infections because these, these are elective joint replacement surgeries that we keep in a clean environment and uh, emphasis on sterility. The main okay. thing is emphasis on sterility. Right, so, yeah. so actually there's a complete separate wing of the hospital designed for this particular type of surgery. Correct. Okay, yeah. very good. Uh, what we need to do is we need to take a break and when we come back, we'll continue our discussion with Dr. Mike LaSalle. It could be heartburn. It could just be stress. It could be a heart attack. To learn more about heart disease, go to the experts at TGMC and CIS. Heart health begins here. I'm a director here at the Little Theater in Homa. Sometimes I've acted, and I've even played in the orchestra. My name is Karen Schilling, and I was treated for breast cancer at Mary Bird Perkins at TGMC. Quality medical care and compassion should go hand in hand. And I definitely got that at Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. My doctors were incredible and the technology is state of the art. I believe that everyone at Mary Bird Perkins at TGMC deserves a standing ovation. No matter their health care needs, whether it's cancer care, cardiovascular surgery, a sleep disorder, or women's imaging and breast center. More people choose TGMC for life. Terrebonne General Medical Center. It all begins here. I'm 72 years old, but I don't let that slow me down very much. When I was having my radiation treatments, I played tennis the same day. My tennis partners couldn't believe it, but the treatments didn't hurt at all. My name is Teresa Betts, and I went to Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center because I had a brain tumor. I had surgery and radiation, and I'm happy to say it worked. Oh, there was no question about where I was going to go for my treatment. That's why I'm back on the court, still working on my backhand. Thanks to Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. It could be heartburn. It could just be stress. It could be a heart attack. To learn more about heart disease, go to the experts at TGMC and CIS. Heart health begins here. Okay, welcome back to the program. Again, we're speaking with Dr. Mike LaSalle, who is an orthopedic surgeon at the Homa Orthopedic Clinic and at Terrebonne General Medical Center. And Doctor, we were talking about uh, several of the things, and of course, you know, Terrebonne General has a, you know, a, does an excellent job of keeping up with state of the state of the art equipment and and suites, and I, I think they have some state of the art orthopedic suites. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about those as well? Correct. These are two orthopedic uh, operating theaters that are newly designed by an architect, Darren Rosas, out of uh, New Orleans, who actually designed uh, Gulf Coast Surgical Center. Okay. He, uh, see, he does exclusively operating rooms, and these are made specifically for uh, orthopedic uh, procedures with an emphasis on sterility. Uh, orthopedics has the highest uh, uh, issues with uh, sterility because we use implants, and implants yeah. have a higher chance of getting infected than a normal piece of suture or anything. Now, you can see in this operating room on the ceiling, there's... Uh, there's some vents, there's vents on the wall, that's uh, laminar flow and positive pressure. So the air is constantly pushing out of the doors, reducing the amount of bacteria in the room. 
The air is circulated over 300 times per hour to reduce the amount of airborne bacteria, which helps keep the ultra clean environment. Now, this in conjunction with uh, what we call space suits or reverse isolation surgical gowns, which you can see a picture of here. Wow. We typically call them space suits. It, it looks like it. <laughs> right, right. We wear these every time we do a joint replacement, and that keeps the um, amount of chance of contamination down to the minimum. So this is like a very uh, high, highly sterile uh, environment. Oh, very good. Uh, and in, it's good to note that you say that, the, the, you know, the specific wing, specific operating room, looking at those suits, I guess there's, a, there's an emphasis on uh, sterilization. Correct. And that's the main emphasis what we want to uh, uh, explain. Sure. That there's a uh, specific in, uh, emphasis on sterilization, uh, which we go into great detail to use the latest of every technology we have available. Okay, good. Now, I, did we just miss a photograph, or I guess you can tell us what we're looking at right now? Well, that's another uh, picture of a uh, couple of folks in the, uh, the spacesuits working on some instruments on the back table uh, during surgery. Uh, there's also, uh, you can see in this picture, there's also multi we have multiple uh, video equipment uh, lately. We have uh, radiography, all the x-rays on digital equipment. Uh, we have a hardwire to home, home orthopedic clinic, so we have our radiographs both at the uh, hospital and at the office, so we okay. can have easy accessibility. Uh, we have high definition video uh, equipment for video arthroscopy whenever we do uh, procedures that require uh, a camera or a scope right. for a knee arthroscopy or a shoulder arthroscopy, which uh, we, we uh, do quite a lot of. Let me uh, let me ask you the, in this particular picture. Uh, well, before we uh, the picture that we were looking at before, right there. Yep. I mean, what what room is that? Is that actually the operating room that itself? Is, that is one of the operating rooms. We have two uh, similar to uh, in design. Uh, both of them are very large. Accommodates a lot of equipment, which we uh, use a lot of equipment in orthopedics. We have. Uh, uh, intraoperative x-ray equipment that take live x-rays when we need it, uh, special operating tables. This is a picture of a HANA table which we utilize in joint replacement. Helps with positioning and different uh, uh, procedures we can use. Okay, very good. Now we can uh, switch over, I guess, to the next photograph. This is uh, basically another uh, picture of um, more of our video equipment. You can see some x-rays that are up there. Uh, this is in direct communication with the radi radiology department, uh, also with our office. Uh, we, we can uh, communicate with our x-rays back and forth without having to run across the street and pick up a set of x-rays. So makes it convenient, makes it uh, more t uh, le uh, uh, less time consuming, uh, which helps out in the overall outcome. Sure, very mm -hmm. good. Uh, I mean, it sounds like that there's a lot going on in terms of uh, you know, orthopedic surgery uh, with regards to things happening, you know, in that particular arena, especially at Terrebonne General Medical Center. So we thank you very much for sharing that with us. Thank you. Let me let me ask you now, where can people, uh, if they have more questions, uh, I think we can go ahead and uh, where, where can we, uh, I'm sorry, if we need an update on this, where can people go to get more information? Right. Uh, you can call the general number at Terrebonne General Medical Center. Uh, there's a number, 985-873-4616, or simply call the Home Orthopedic Clinic at 985-868-1540, right. where um, we're open during normal business hours and can take uh, any calls or requests for information. Okay, very good. We appreciate your sharing that information with us. Uh, very good to see you. Uh, you know that the world of orthopedics is certainly moving fast pace ahead and the people at Terra I tell you what uh, I'm getting something from my producer here if maybe there's something you might want to add that we haven't covered uh, please uh, let me know I think we covered uh, pretty much everything but it's just an exciting time for, okay. uh, for orthopedics and uh, and introducing our new operating uh, ultra clean operating suites and environments and our new programs for uh, orthopedic uh, patients with uh, joint replacements and, and emphasis. Okay, very good. We thank you very much. And uh, as always, of course, we, uh, we appreciate our viewing audience because it's always, uh, uh, you know, a good, interesting segment on to your health with TGMC. 
With that, we're going to take a break. And what we'll do is Stan Gravois will have sports coming up next. So don't go away. <laughs> 